Well, you know, Rod talking about the rainy season. So as we move into the rainy season, out of the nice weather, you might have uh, some toddlers at home on your hands. You've got the school age kids in school, but the toddlers at home. And that can be tough to try to figure out what to do with the toddlers um, while they're at home. So we have Winter Kaiser, the managing editor of Portland Moms blog here with some really fun, colorful crafts that you can do with toddlers. Yeah, thanks for having me back again. It's great to be here. So we have three different art experiences that you can experience with your toddler at home that's really great to develop develop the, their um, sensory mm -hmm. and their um, even their vocab and just spending time with them during the day and um, have the, you toddler tested these I have all? not I okay. have not but um, but the person who wrote this um, she couldn't make it here today but um, she's got a little one at home and she came up all these they are toddler approved and um, the important thing is that this is about experience the process versus the project and so we're mm -hmm. not looking to make um, a masterpiece we're just not looking to beautiful artwork necessarily. right it's just <laughs> it's to talk with your kid and engage with them and just really get them into um, the enrichment that art can can provide for them let's so. start with these we're really fat markers yeah. I thought those were paints so these are called marker. dot markers these are fantastic for little hands that can't quite get the developmental um, holding right so they grip them like this and they just kind of dot them around or scribble um, oh, if you want to try it yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is and really cool. And what is this cool. good for? I mean, what, it takes and what out age? the challenge of those. And so it's markers, just right? you know you can talk with them okay. about. Oh, that one's dried up. Um, <laughs> but um, the author of this um, this article, she talks about you know painting hands and then signing it with handprints and um, watching how the different colors blend together and uh, just experiencing fun play that's developmentally appropriate for little hands. That's really fun. I like that. Yeah, Let's you. I, I didn't realize that the whole you know arts crafts at this age was a, a matter of developing some sensory feel and coordination even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. It's so important for kids to um, to get that art enrichment and um, and just that time spent with mom or dad. And it can be a babysitter or a nanny or grandma and grandpa too. It doesn't just have to be at home with parents. Okay, Your we have our one. makeshift wall right here. Yeah. What's this next this one This is here? great. Oh, visual. I wish I had this one when I had little ones home. But you basically just take contact paper. You can get it at any store or, um, uh, and, or craft store even and you just you know, lay it out like that, and and then Winter was saying you tape, you could tape it to a window or a wall. Kathy's holding it for us mm -hmm. right now, so it doesn't. Sit. A so wall you could, get to decorate it. Yes, exactly. A fun is great. <laughs> Thank you. The, the the window is great and fun because then um, you get like almost like the glass. Um, the, the stained glass effect with the the tissue paper, and you can talk again um, with when it comes to like. Uh, uh, vocab and just talking and enrichment with your kids where even just um, teaching colors right yeah, now. Yeah. The, the colors and the crinkly how it sounds the sensory part of it like these are soft and squishy look these how cute are this soft is. this is bendy and crinkly and just get them on there and then eventually um, like the author of this post talks about um, eventually it just turns into a thing where they're just grabbing stuff from all over the house and sticking it on yeah, <laughs> look at it, just like I'm doing <laughs> and easy to remove as well so it's not permanent exactly glued yeah they all surface. come off real easy and oh. really easy cleanup this one does take a little bit more prep and setup but mm -hmm. um, you can do it while uh, baby or toddlers at nap time and have it all set up and ready to go by the time they wake up fun afternoon project when it starts raining and Very we're nice. gonna do mural painting as well yeah so the other one this is great for the whole entire family. You can get big sisters and big brothers involved in that too. Grandmas and grandpas. Mm -hmm. You can use um, big look canvas. Look um, pretty. Yeah, exactly. Just like that. So you use the big canvas things, but if you can't afford something like that, even like a big white bed sheet will work. And um, that we have watercolors. You can use markers, glue with glitter on it, dab the, the paintbrush in the water and just spread it on. Or you can use the, um, the more finger paint kind of paint and just put it inside the palette and then use a paintbrush. I'd imagine paint. this is more of a garage type activity or do you need to put a big old drip cloth <laughs> down on the, on the carpet? You know, again, it's not about the mess. Don't worry about the mess. It's about the experience. And, and you know, part of that experience I know when my kids were little was the paint smock or the arts and crafts yeah. smock. It was just putting <laughs> yeah. on dad's old shirt or mom's old bathrobe and they knew it was time to do something mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, and these make fantastic masterpieces. You hang it over your fireplace, put it over the couch, give it away as a gift to grandma and grandpa. So very cute. Winter, where can parents go to get more great ideas? So this and other great family and parenting posts can be found at Portland Moms blog. They're written by local moms, um, just like this one and many other great posts. Very awesome. creative. Thanks, Thanks so much. Winter. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming, coming in. <laughs>